Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to factorize quadratic equations. I have taken two examples in the video. So let's start with the first example. The equation is 6x square plus 11x minus 10 and we need to factorize this quadratic equation. Factorize means to break this equation into two factors such that their products equal the equation. So here, first of all, we'll compare this equation with the standard quadratic equation, which is ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So by comparing, we can see that the coefficient of x square is a, which is equal to 6 in our equation. Coefficient of x is b, which is equal to 11. And the constant term is c, which equals negative 10 in our equation. So, we will solve this equation by splitting the middle term. So, we will split the middle term 11x into two terms, whose coefficients multiply to give the product a and c. In this case, a times c equals 6 times negative 10, which is equal to negative 60. Also, we'll find two numbers such that their sum equals 11 and their product equals negative 60. So, here we are going to write all numbers which make 11. So, 9 and 2 makes 11, 10 and 1 makes 11, 15 and 4 makes 11, 6 and 5 makes 11. So here we see that 9 times 2 equals 18. So it is not equal to negative 6. It is not equal to 60. So we are not going to take 9 and 2. 10 and 1 is also not equal to negative 60. And 6 and 5 also not fulfill our condition. So the only numbers left with us are 15 and 4. Because 15 times 4 equals 60. And 15 minus 4 equals 11. 6x square plus 11x minus 10 is our equation. So we'll split the middle term. So 6x square plus 15x minus 4x because 15 minus 4 equals 11 and 15 times negative 4 will give us negative 60 minus 10. Now we can group the terms from 6x square and 15x we can take 3x common, so that's going to be 3x and here we'll have 2x plus 3 times 5 is 15, 2x plus 5 and from 4 and 10 we can take negative 2 common, so that's going to be 2x plus 5. Now 2x plus 5 is common in both the terms. So we will take 2x plus 5 common. So 2x plus 5. And, and from here we will get 3x and the next term will be negative 2. So the factors of 6x square plus 11x minus 10 equals 2x plus 5 times 3x minus 2. These are the two factors which multiply to give this quadratic equation. This is how we factorize these quadratic equation. Let's solve one more example and clarify this more. So the second example is, second equation is 5 minus 4x minus 12x square. So first of all, we'll write this equation in the form of standard quadratic equation where we'll put the, the term with the highest power first. So that's going to be negative 12x square minus 4x plus 5. Now we are going to compare it with the standard quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c. So by comparing the two equations we have a equals coefficient of x square which is negative 12, b equals negative 4 and c equals 5 and the product of the coefficients a and c equals negative 12 
times 5 which equals negative 60 and the sum of the two numbers should be equal to negative 4. Let's find out two numbers whose sum is equal to negative 4 and whose product equals negative 16. So we can have two numbers such as 8 and 4 but their product is not equal to 60. So we will not take these numbers. The next number are 6 and 10 and 10 and 6 make 60 and we can get the sum equals negative 4 using negative 10 and plus 6. So we are going to use two numbers as 10 and 6. So let's rewrite our equation by splitting the middle term 4. So our equation is negative 12x square, negative 4x plus 5. So negative 12x square. We are splitting negative 4x into two numbers, minus 10x plus 6x plus 5. Now from these two terms, we can take negative 2x common from the two terms. So that's going to be 2x and we'll get 6x from here and this will be equal to 5. 6x plus 5 and from these two terms we can take plus 1 common. So that's going to be 6x plus 5. Now 6x plus 5 is common in both the terms. So we'll take 6x plus 5 common and the other term will be or the other factor will be 2x, negative 2x plus 1. These are the two factors of this quadratic equation. So this is how we can factorize the quadratic equation by splitting the middle terms. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.